Hi, it's Matt. In this video I'll show you how to calibrate this current sensor in order to read a C current. This is very, these are very simple uh, sensor. They output uh, a signal from 0 to 5 volt capable to be read uh, to, with uh, an analog port and proportional to the current uh, which flows through these uh, through these ports, it uses a whole sensor, so the height current part and the low current part are isolated from each other. Anyway, let's get started. So with the DC current, I have a constant current in time. It doesn't vary. This means since I have uh, a linear sensor that I can just read the analog uh, the analog input and through the equation uh, E equal sensitivity times uh, voltages I read uh, the current uh, which goes through the sensor so this is a straight line equation M which is the slope is equal the sensitivity is equal 185 while Q which is the intercept is equal zero in this case. AC current is uh, more complicated than that. It's not constant, but it follows a sine wave. So if I measure uh, just the average value, I will always get zero because that's the average. What can I do? I can. Um, do some statistic analysis in a temporal window of signal and I can calculate the the probab probability of each sing of the occurrence of each single uh, values I will obtain a, a normal distribution like this if I change the load for instance uh, I increase the current, I will always get a 50 Hz signal because uh, that's the grid frequency. And I will get a larger normal distribution which higher with a higher sigma. So if I increase the current, I will also increase the sigma. And this will happen in a linear matter. So I can have an E sigma graph like this. And this sensor will have also calibration line E equal slope times sigma plus intercept but m and q will be different than the case before in order to figure out uh, the coefficients of this line i can uh, plug in different appliances uh, and measure the current with a, a smart plug uh, with a multimeter for instance i'll plug in uh, a one amp uh, appliance and I will find its deviation at 2 amp and I will find its deviation and so on I will need to gather various points and then with an OLS kind of interpolation find out the slope and the intercept so the circuit is rather simple this line will go into to the wall, one of the two lines will go right through, while the other will go through this, uh, this current sensor, which has only three, pin, three pins, ground, 5 volts, and the up to our output signal, which will go into the analog uh, a1 
in order to read the actual current I will use uh, one of these this is a smart plug I bought it on Amazon for about uh, 20 euros this can measure a voltage power current uh, frequency maybe and it can uh, read up to 16 amp so we should be covered So the code is uh, rather simple itself. I have created uh, this uh, this truck. In this uh, array, I will store eight values, eight reads uh, from uh, the same appliance. Then I will calculate the average, and then I will uh, input the the real the real value. So. In the loop function, I will start to collect the points and uh, analyzing them with the filter library. So with the input, uh, with the input function and with the sigma function, which uh, will um, calculate the, the distribution. I will store the distribution here and uh, repeat the process seven other times. And then I will calculate the average here with this function after that uh, I will ask uh, to import the real value in uh, amp, amp from the serial monitor and then start again and collect another point you will have to unplug the appliance and plug uh, the second one and so on how many times uh, you want uh, from uh, up to 10 appliances no more than that well you can change this uh, this define and uh, to whatever value you like anyway after after uh, the last uh, the last appliance uh, we we'll just calculate the two coefficients with the OLS algorithm I have first to calculate the average on the x-axis and the y-axis and then uses these uh, two equations for calculate the the slope of the intercept so let's just uh, open the serial monitor and uh, start uh, input our points so I've decided to use uh, three points two appliances and uh, the zero point you want to use all the range of the sensor, so in this case from 0 to 5 amps. Um, these are a 500 watts uh, lamp each, so both of them will draw about uh, 1 kilowatt or 5.5 uh, 5 5, uh, 5 amp of current. So I will cover almost all the range. So let's start recording. Let's start with the zero point. So I won't plug in anything. So as you can see, I'm in the region of five uh, of dispersion. I'm, I will read seven times and then average the value uh, eight times. I think you can uh, even increase the, the value in order to increase uh, uh, the quality of the calibration. Of course, uh, this will take more time. So this value will represent 0 amp. For some reason I cannot input 0, I will input 1 micro amp, will go just fine. So the first point is 4.82 of this version, 0 amp. Yes, I will input another another, another appliances, I will turn on this Which isn't plugging the wall, in it. so this won't work very well, won't it? So I will turn on these appliances once it's plugged to the wall and start recording.
Now I'm in the region of uh, 20, dispersion 20. I'm reading, I will read a time, average, same as before. And this will be our second point. Alright, I've uh, import all the value, now I will prompt it the depth current which is flowing. I plug here in the wall the smart socket I've shown you before and uh, I'm read uh, 0.753 753 amp enter. Alright, so this will be our second point. I'm gonna input a third point yes and the third point will be the both of them turn on they're very bright and also very not energy efficient now i'm in the region of 60 62 and i am drawing about 2.5 amps so ideally I will need another appliance which can push up to 4 amp or more. So I am 2.502. Alright. And this is my third point. That's it. I may put N. And this is and this is my my co coefficient of the calibration. The slope is a point of four, while the intercept is a negative, as I've shown you before, point uh, oh one five amp. So with these two value, I have calibrated correctly the sensor. You can increase the quality of the calibration, increasing the number of the points up to ten points. You can increase it by uh, collecting more points uh, for uh, each uh, appliances, maybe 10, maybe 20, if you have a lot of time, you can let it run for uh, as much time as you want. So there you have it, uh, an easy way for calibrating a DC sensor, DC current sensor, uh, for reading uh, AC current. Now, mine has this uh, calibration line, as you can see the intercept is uh, slightly negative, but whatever. I have the sigma on the x-axis and the current on the y-axis, so when I read it uh, through, the through the input and sigma function in the filter library, I can, when I read the sigma I can calculate the current which is flowing the sensor. I've developed a lot of the code from uh, an extractables. The link is in the description. I hope you may find this uh, useful and until the next time.